so in this video I'm going to show you how to use an array to identify the highest point of a scan in a given axis. So if you look at my scan here, it's a, it's a patch scan with 514 points. So scans can get very dense, very uh, large, and in order to filter out a lot of the data we can use what's called an array and then identify that high point and in this case in the y-axis and then we can dimension it and so we can know the exact location of that high point. Okay I'll show you how it's done. So we're gonna start by assigning a variable and I'll call this uh, high point. So the name you can call it whatever you like. Um, so what we're gonna use is what's called the max index max index parentheses and my scan has an ID of scan 1 so I need to use that so scan 1 then I'll use dot hip and then this is the important part I need to use the square bracket to indicate an array so I'll start with um, hit 1 two dots the name of the feature again so this is scan 1 and then I'll use something called num hits. So I don't necessarily need to know the number of hits in the scan. I just want it to, to survey all of them. And then it will draw out the max hit. Okay, so I need to close my um, array with a, a second square bracket. And you'll notice it's all lowercase. It is case sensitive, but PC Demos will turn that into uppercase. So the last part of my uh, variable I need to indicate the y-axis. Okay, so let's close that with a parentheses and I'll just hit enter. So it looks good. So what this allows us to do is turn the variable into a feature. So it's, it will recognize this variable as the feature as a point that is the highest point in the scan. So if we mouse over the variable we can see it's giving us number 191. So that is telling me that of the 514 hits, hit 191 is the highest. Okay, so now that we have the variable that identifies the high point as a feature, we can now dimension it. So I'll just do a simple location dimension. Uh, pick my scan, scan one as the feature. For the ID of the dimension, I'll call it high point. So I'll dimension X, Y, Z axis and create and close. So you can see the dimension info label there. So that would look good in a screen capture. So we're not finished yet. We need to actually do a bit of code inside of the dimension location. So right now it's just dimensioning the scan as a whole. So we need to actually identify our variable inside of the dimension. We need to plug that in. So I'm gonna type dot hit after the feature name scan one again i'll use the array bracket and here i need to plug in my variable so it's high underscore point and end bracket so when i hit the tab key you should see the numbers update to dimension our point 191 so I hit the tab key and there we go so now we can see the xyz measured values of our high point. Okay, so that's about it. I just wanted to show you the code uh, that we use to extract that high point in a scam. Well, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.